Hey, I'm Jesse. Let's hear directly from Jesus, straight from his word for our devotion today. Does that sound good? Yeah, it does. This is Matthew chapter 16, beginning in verse 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he asked them, who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus responded, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. I know that it can seem like a daunting specter to lead someone to Christ, and then expect that person to lead someone else to Christ. But this is exactly how you heard of the gospel. The people who shared the gospel with you, the person who led you to Christ, at one point felt wholly inadequate. Now here you are. Here you are evangelizing, sharing your faith with someone else. See, the truth is it's not about us. It's not about our powers of persuasion, our our intellect, our debate skills, our leadership erudition. It's all based on this. It's that Jesus declared over bumbling Peter of all people. Like the, the, the fallibility of Peter gives me a lot of hope, actually. I'm, I'm really glad that I see Peter put his foot in his mouth all over the place because it, I'm like, this is the guy that Jesus used to launch the church into the New Testament era. And I, I, I remember that it comes down to this promise that Jesus is the one who builds his church and the gates of Hades can't overcome it. So it's not on your own power. If you feel overwhelmed at the thought of now, Not only evangelizing someone, but then becoming some sort of evangelist trainer. Remember, it's not on you. It's not on you. If you feel fear in your heart over this, you're taking too much of it on your shoulders. You take too much of it on your shoulders, you're going to take too much credit for what God does through it. And that pride is going to lead to a downfall. So instead, just remember this promise. This is how you and I heard of the gospel to begin with. This promise came true. Jesus did exactly what he said he would do. It's not on your shoulders. It began with this promise from Jesus not our church. It's Jesus's church. We don't have the nails in our hands. Jesus did. We don't have the authority to make proclamations like these, but Jesus made it. And it's true. It's true. 2,000 years later, you and I both know that it's true because here we are. The church exists today. That wasn't because of flesh and blood. That's because the Father was moving through fallible people like Peter. The gates of Hades will not overcome God's church. So when you share the gospel with someone else, you inherit this legacy and you pass it forward. When they inherit this legacy, it's not gonna end with them. They're not gonna become become a dead end on the evangelistic tree. Rather, they're gonna pass it forward and then they won't get any credit for what God does through them. It's all about Jesus. It's all about the Holy Spirit of God. The Father draws on people and then we see them saved. This is the honor of our lives. You get a front row seat to watch this happen. Remember this, it may feel daunting to train others in evangelism, but it's not on your shoulders. It's on the Father's shoulders, and he is quite capable. Jesus made this proclamation, hell itself can't stop God's church. Are you ready? Go make disciple makers.